Well, did you say can't be done? Well, then you're right, because we're taking the square root of a negative number. That means we have to find some number so that when I multiply it by itself, I get negative 25. But any number times itself can never be a negative. It will either be 0 or positive. So in fact, this number is not a real number. So that is interesting. Sometimes when you're taking roots, they may not exist. And in fact, the only time they won't exist is if you're taking an even root, an even root, because that means you have to have something times itself an even number of times that can never be negative. So you have to remember that with even roots, you can never have a negative number in the radical. In fact, it's so important, I'm going to write it right there. See, look, even roots can never have it negative under the radical sign. With odd roots, you can. Right? With odd roots, you can. For example, the cube root of minus 8. No problem. It's negative 2. Multiply negative 2 by negative 2 times negative 2, you get minus 8. Not a problem. OK, that was just a little teaser. But now I want to actually do my last example. I'm going to do this out for you right now. It's going to be to take the cube root of 9 and square it. I'm going to want you to sit back and enjoy this. I'm going to do this for you right now. And I'm going to want you to see if you're happy or if you're sad when I finish. So um, this is an emotional test now. Okay, So here's what I do. First, I write it like a fractional exponent. 9 to the 2 thirds. And then I use the fact that I can sort of flip these things around. And so I'm taking the square root of 9, and then I cube it. And then the square root of 9, I know, is 3. So this would be 3 squared. I'm sorry, 3 cubed. And 3 cubed is 27. That's how I did it. Are you happy or are you sad? Well, I hope you're sad, because I actually made a great mistake. I made a really, really important mistake, and I hope you can catch it. Actually, this was perfect right here. That was absolutely perfect, no problem there, because I've got a 2 as the power, and the root is 3. But this business is completely wrong. Here, I wrote this as 9 to the 3 halves power. I flipped these two things, but that's not allowed. Even though it's a great common mistake, that is not allowed. Okay? All I could do here is do just what it says. I could flip this this way. I could write this as 9 squared and then take the cube root. See, I can pull these, switch the roles of these things, but I can't just reverse those roles like that. You see the difference in this? So I could write this as the cube root of 81 if I wanted to. So I could write that way. But it doesn't equal 27. So it's a good thing to remember is when you're doing all this flipping, doing a lot of flipping, flip, 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 flip. Don't flip too much because this kind of activity is very, very, very scary doing the exponent. Okay, great.